Alright guys, welcome back to some more LCPD Farm, man. My name is AJ, and we're going to be here on episode 5. And for today's patrol, we are going to be using another Crown Victoria. Now, I know I did use a Crown Victoria in the last episode, but however, I kind of wanted to pick out another one because I really like Crown Victorias, you know, I don't know. The last episode, I don't know, the Crown Victoria was just too beautiful that it made me want to download another one. So I did. And uh, obviously we got a new texture with it, which I think looks pretty dope. And if I turn on these lights, I mean, I cannot lie, this actually is really dope. Especially for it being in GTA 4. This is actually one of the greatest models I've seen for Crown Victoria. So, whoever made this, I uh, would just like to say you did a very, very good job on this vehicle. And as you can sort of tell if you look in the driver's side, I am wearing a new uniform. I downloaded some new uniforms. So I hope that adds a little bit of taste to the patrol. And I also downloaded a new radar. And that guy just did a hit and run, so, well, he just hit that person, so I'm gonna go ahead and have to, I'm gonna have to stop him. Okay, and we're just gonna go ahead and pull over this, uh, cavalcade, I don't know why it keeps doing this. Please pull over to the side of the road! Sounds like there's a pursuit going on, but yeah, this is gonna be our first pullover for today, with a cavalcade. And, uh, did he do, mm, somewhat, it's decent. I ain't gonna lie, it actually created some space for other drivers to pass by, so it's pretty good. And, uh, let's just turn on this little thingy, does he have anything? No, he doesn't, alright. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, conduct this traffic stop. Let's go ahead and ask what he's doing tonight, why did he, uh, just hit that poor woman. A lot of pedestrians on the street tonight. On the sidewalks, actually. There we go. Okay, so we're in contact with the driver. It's only one times occupant. How are you doing tonight, sir? You just uh, hit that woman back there. You know, that's, uh, it's not good. Or that. <laughs> uh, show me some ID, man. Okay, what does he have here? It's, uh... Delmar Fitzgerald. Okay. Did that woman just trip behind me? No. I have no idea what she did, but yeah. And I'm in the tree right now. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'm not actually going to use the computer to search up his name. I'm rather just going to use this little thingy. The radio. Not the thingy. <laughs> Man, I miss this game so much. I just want to say thank you guys so much for your patience, you know, and thank you guys so much for the support. Um, I looked at the comments and I was, I was, I don't know, man, it, I stopped to think, like, how much support you guys are really giving me, and I just want to say thank you guys so much. Uh, one citation and two times stopped. Okay, so this guy has a clean ID, no warrants, nothing on him. So we'll just, uh, issue him a citation. Um... Actually, it's not like I can really issue him a fine. I have no choice. It's not like I can really go back, can I? Can I go back? I know I can go back. Nope, I cannot. Okay. I have no choice but to write him, write him a $100 citation. And I have an M4 in my hand, and it's just pointing... I don't know at whom, but yeah. Oh, he paid a citation at 60. Okay. Wow, I didn't click 100. I didn't. Apparently, I didn't know what. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> but, um. I'll just pretend that I did write him a document that, uh. If that person who, uh. Got hit, you know, kind of complains and sends it to the court or whatever, the police department, then, uh, I guess we'll kind of look out for him and, uh. Be like, hey, you know, you gotta pay this fine. You're gonna lose your license and whatnot. And he just went through a red light. Okay, he's losing his license tonight. <laughs> he's already committed one too many violations. And is he gonna run? He's gonna run tonight. Okay, because he does not want his ID. So we're gonna be in a uh, pursuit of this guy right here. Oh, goodness. I also downloaded a new handling line as well, so it's kind of wonky. Well, not wonky, but I meant kind of weird. Oh, God. Go ahead. Alright, so we're just after this guy right now, then. This thing is, goes pretty fast. 
And I want to try to call some units down here. I'll be... Get back up here, immediately. There we go. This is control. Available units respond to a criminal resisting arrest in Albany City. I still have eyes on the suspect. Ooh, I like... Oh my god, really? That guy fucking idiots, bro. <laughs> okay, I got him, I got him. It's kind of clear, so we're going to pit him. Oh, I can't really pit this ca cavalcade, can I? And that unit just missed his turn, didn't he? Oh, no, he just ran into a tree. Great. Perfect. Oh, pit successful. Oh, my God, don't run me over. And I'm in the police computer. This is... Log in real quick and then log out. Oh my god. Get the fuck out of the car right now. Okay, he will not get out. And I have to go back in my vehicle. I'll have to try to do this right now. Oh, I might have him. I might have him. I might have him. I might have him. No, I do not. I do not. I hope he just doesn't run me over. Alright, sir, step out the car. Oh, oh, yo, 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 he's running me over. He is running me over. I'm going to get him right now. Oh. Come on. Get out the car. Hands behind your back, sir. That siren is pretty annoying. I'm so sorry. But we got the suspect. He ran for quite a while. But we got him. Okay, he's got nothing on him. And we'll just arrest him real quick, like. And we're going to call for a prisoner transfer. I'm going to turn this off real quick because I know that might be annoying to all of you guys. See, and sometimes my freaking ALPR turns on for no reason whatsoever. There we go. I downloaded the uh, ALPR script again like I did a couple years back. Or a year back, I guess. Not a couple of years. But we, we're uh, getting a prisoner transport arriving on scene right now. And I need to tow that man's vehicle. Oh. Alright. He's not running at all, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, I should have checked the trunk, but it's okay. Um, the car is probably in a huge wreck right now. So, I mean... We'll let investigators check that out. <laughs> I ain't doing that. <laughs> like, not today, bro. Not today. I already had too, many, you know, too much on my hands for this guy right now. And that was well done, man. I mean, we did pretty good. Nice. Alright, and we're just going to let this tow truck pass. Okay, never mind. He's going to let me go. Much appreciated, man. Tow ticker just crashed. Okay, please fix, fix yourself. Fix yourself. Don't lag all day, please. Don't lag all day. Oh my god, this man's OD lagging right now. This is why I'm never going to use tow truck ever again. I don't know why I told you guys I was going to use it. Oh, never mind. It stopped. It stopped. Registration expired. Okay. Forgot it's just only one time. <laughs> so anyways, we got a, uh... We got a taxi right here with a expired registration on his license plate. Let's go ahead and see what's going on tonight. State trooper, pull over now. <clears throat> Regular radio really stinks. I know you're totally right. So we're gonna be uh conducting a traffic stop once again on this taxi. Let's see how that goes, man. Hopefully it goes alright. Oh, and he just hit that woman. Go ahead, lady. Is she complaining? No, she's not complaining, so I can't really charge him a fine. It has to be if, like, you know, the 
the woman is complaining. If the woman is not complaining, then I mean... I mean, still, you'll get a citation, but if she complains, then you lose your license, bro. So that's technically a point on your license. Actually, many points. Either way. Actually, I think if the woman complains, it can be an arrest. So I don't know. But anyways, we're out here with this taxi driver. Either way, he has a expired registration on this vehicle. So let's see what's going on. And he has a passenger, okay. Which is not actually good in this case. For the fact that he just hit that woman as well. Uh, how's it going there, man? You have... We're doing a lot of things tonight. You just hit that woman and you also have an expired registration on your uh, license right there, man. Uh, can... Do you have any, uh, you know, sorts of identification or whatnot? Show me some ID. Is this a double lane ramp? I didn't even know that. Great, thanks. Uh, Luetta Williams and Simon Houston. Okay, Mr. Houston, I'll be right back. And so will I, Mrs. Williams. So we'll be calling this, uh, getting a, uh, I believe it's called a 1027 and a 1029, right? I believe that's what it's called. I don't remember. I don't have my tent coach with me. Three active warrants. Okay, so he's escorting someone with three active warrants. It's more than likely she'd have she might have told this taxi driver to hurry up, which might have resulted in him hitting the woman. So I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and, uh, quickly just, uh, conduct this, uh, you know, this quick step stop right here. And place your hands on the hood. All right, miss. Right about this town. Stop right there. I can't search him. Mrs. Uh, Williams, hands behind your back, please. Oh, dang it. I wanted to search a taxi. Maybe there might have been, like, a weapon in there. Dang it. All right, no problem. All right, so this woman is going to be arrested for having three active warrants on her, uh, on her, uh, wanted list. I don't even know. <laughs> on her database. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, my God. I swear, man. Oh, my God. Really? You just got off the ramp. What are you doing now? This is not EU, man. Go somewhere else for that. Um... I'll just call a taxi for this guy. I mean, I don't know. Is he carrying anything? I'm gonna have to search him as well. I can search him, but I can't search the woman. That's actually illegal. And again, that's, you know, just why a man can't search a woman, of course. It's not right. This was for probable cause as well. Because he was with that woman, but you don't know. Um, so sir, I'm not going to give you your taxi back. You just hit a woman on the street. So therefore, I'm going to have to call you a nice, lovely taxi for you. Uh, okay. Alright, so anyways, uh, sorry about that. I had to reload my scripts because, uh, VDH police helper was being kind of weird. But we're going to go ahead and, uh, dispatch a taxi. Seems like, um, VDH police helper seems to be quite an issue. I don't know. I'm not VDH police, uh... Whatever it's called, it's called a uh, tow truck. I think tow truck is having an issue. Not to mention that EMBs in this game can get very, very glitchy. So that kind of can it can really be taken in so many ways where um, crashing can occur. Okay, so we got a taxi for that nice gentleman. Looks like he has nothing on him. He's pretty cool, pretty chill. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just continue on with this uh, patrol, see what else we can do. Show me 10-8. No this is control assistance required for uh, dangerous driving in uh, East Island City. Sure, we'll go ahead and respond to that. We got a reports of a uh, drunk driver out here. We'll just go ahead and uh, see what's going on. There he is, right over there. He is um hitting a guy on a moped right now. I order you to stop that. Ooh, vehicle. he's getting way out of control. Okay, he's probably gonna be. Yep, he is giving me chase. Right now. Alright, I'm gonna need some units on scene. I can't handle this. Send me some backup. Alright, so we got a fleeing suspect and a uh, what seems to be a Fudo. Hopefully we can get him on time. 
Now, I do not like drunk, <laughs> I do not like, uh, drunk drivers because, um, they actually are pretty smart at getting away. Pretty crafty, rather. Looks like he's going north on Harrison Street in a, uh, black Karen probe. Okay. Oh, God. And there he is right there right now. He's making a turn. While we can do it, we're going to go ahead and do a pit. Just a safe one while we can. Do we have him? We, I guess we do. Now he is drunk, so try to be careful. Okay, I better stop. There's so many bystanders in the way. Okay, so we're in a chase with him right now. This stupid ALPR will not just turn off, bro. Alright, we got eyes on suspect right now. Alright, I got him, I got him, I got him, it's alright. Alright, we got the suspect under arrest. And we'll just go ahead and call a transport for him, man. Shit, man, drunken drivers can really be crafty. Whereas that person was able to actually get away from when I was trying to stop him. Go ahead and pop the trunk open real quick, if we can. Nope, looks like we cannot pop the trunk open. All right, not, not an issue. We'll go ahead and call tow. See if it works for once. All right, and we're just waiting on tow right now. It is a pretty rainy night, so uh, there he is, there's our transport right now. Ouch. And I think our tow truck, our tow uh, service just collected that vehicle. So we got the perp in custody and we also got the uh, vehicle towed. Great, perfect, excellent. And nice, good job. Oh goodness, what did I just do with my life? There we go. Dispatch, show me 10 8. That was perfect. Okay, people, move along. Let's get on with our uh, I'm parked illegally, but it doesn't matter. Uh, because I'm going to be ending the episode right here. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys really did enjoy this, as I did as well. Um, this was honestly fun. And uh, I do have a couple bits of news to kind of tell you guys um, before I go. Um, I might have or I might have not done it yet, but if I have not uploaded it yet, uh, you will see it soon. Or if you've already seen it, then you know. Um, but there, there is going to be a multiplayer patrol with the nuke and I. Um, I guess several multiple, multiple player, multi, <laughs> multiplayer patrols. Um, there'll be one tomorrow, which is, uh, my watch. Uh, that's going to be a Wednesday, so hopefully it'll be a Wednesday and then we'll hopefully have a Friday and then a Saturday. So three multiple patrols this week and uh, we'll try to get those through. Um, we've been doing tests today so I might release a teaser actually first to kind of you know make you guys see what's, what we've been doing uh, with multiplayer for the past you know couple hours. And uh, yeah man, that's about it. I just wanna thank you guys so much again, once again for your support, your patience and everything like that. I really appreciate the comments in the last video. Um, Please suggest anything in the uh, for the nice patrol. I downloaded the, the uh, ALPR script, as somebody asked. So you know, if you guys have any more suggestions, just you know, hit me up in the comments and I'll do it. Uh, if you guys want to see that uh, border patrol, I'd like to do that. I really would, and just tell me where. Um, there's three sectors that can do it in. It's either at this little bridge right here, which is a uh, what we just passed, where that guy just passed, and you know that's why he got shot. There's one connecting to Bohan right over here, which is right around there. And then if I remember, there's one, uh, I think that's about it, man. I don't know. I, I can't remember, clearly. I think there's one more, too. And then probably a prisoner patrol, like a prison 
thingy patrol. I don't know. You guys get what I'm saying. But anyway, anyways, guys, we're going to end it here. I'm, I'm talking for way too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, hope to get those multiple patrols out. I will be recording an LSPDFR video as well. So don't think I held back on that one as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys then. Peace out, everybody. Take care.